I'll have to feed the pet soon, so I want to get this going. By the way, guys, the goal right now is $100. Okay, so yeah, the first game, she is supposed to be 22. Okay. Uh, the second game, 27. The third game, 34. And Kate Blanchett, how old is she? And Kate Blanchett, substantially older than the character. It is a weird casting choice. Kate Blanchett does have still have the body for it, and I'm sorry, I did see Thor Ragnarok. She's still hot, although I think she's still hotter as a brunette than she is as a redhead or a blonde. All right, all um, right. Um, Mike, you're echoing. Mike, you're echoing. Damn it! <laughs> so this one definitely has more options than the than the other one. But does it have subtitles? No. Wow. Okay. Okay. It's also the first one that actually lets you use a controller. So once Mike gets back, we'll continue. It's also longer. Yeah, that's why I wanted to start now, and then I'll take a break to feed the pets, and then I want to get... We're just doing this game tonight, because then I want to make dinner. Otherwise, I will not have eaten all day. You back, Mike? Yeah, I'm back. Okay. Let's start. Someday, Beardy, you will leave. So, yeah, no, the, I will Watch admit the that the time. casting is weird, but Wait, some of it they did get very right. God, it's the 80s. Hey, we'll be okay, guy. <laughs> I promise. All winds blow away. Eventually. Here comes death. We're sorry, there's a category five tornado. Shoot it in the head. Catnap! Please help us go to sleep, catnap. We need it, catnap. Please help us sleep. That's not terrible, I'm weird. What <laughs> nerve gas? We can only hope. Everyone knows Huggy Wuggy and Poppy Playtime, but are your children safe from Playtime Co.'s latest toy? What you've seen here is Playtime Co.'s own Smiling Critters, a limited series cartoon meant to celebrate the release of the toys sharing its name. Yet both now face the fire sparked by the inclusion of one key member. This is Catnap. And like the others of his line, you just pull his little tail and... Oh, I know what this is a reference enough. to. However, parents across the country report their children experiencing strange and often violent nightmares. And beside them, their little grinning Catnap doll. Yeah, I'd have a nightmare too if that thing was now, in my fucking room. Now, with controversy room growing, Playtime Co. has announced the recall of all catnap toys from the Smiling Critters line. His image cleared from all promotional material. But damage already done, will disappearing be that easy? The exact cause of these incidents still unknown, only one thing appears glaringly certain. Your children are not safe with catnap. So that's a reference to an actual toy. Don't smoke uh, cat, kids. <laughs> there was a toy that, uh, it was a stink toy. And apparently it smelled so bad and the chemicals they used <laughs> to make the smell was actually toxic. Oh, 
That's lovely. Yep. That's that like how they used 80s. to make rubber. That's how they also why they the other thing uh, they used to make uh, rubber ducks out of uh, petroleum based rubber. I will say this one definitely had more production quality. I like the cartoon. I mean, I'd have that thing as an adult. Then again, I was a kid who had a Freddy Krueger doll. Hmm. Remember, kids. If it's made out of something flammable and you don't light it on fire, you're honestly not doing enough. <laughs> Save our planet. Light that shit on fire. Remember, there are warning labels on things for a reason. It means somebody tried that before you. Oh, that made it more sensitive. Are you supposed to go up and down or down with sensitivity? What? what? Did I just die? So you're supposed to go up and down and up again? Or take edibles. We don't talk about edibles in this chat. <laughs> yeah, you had fun. Yeah, I did. Wait a minute. The, the time you did it or the time I did it? The time you did it. You know what happened the time I did it. Well, technically. Yeah, I guess technically it was edible. It wasn't edible. It was. Not the one that you did. Not the one that you... Oh, yeah. No, I forgot about... Yeah, I forgot about the gummy bears. Oh, fuck, I'm, using the, right. uh, like, I'm just using left. Not... I'm using right-handed controls. Fuck the controls. Or the uh, sour patch kids. Just saying. Oh, it's a crusher. Oh shit, it's a crusher. Fuck. I'm stuck. Yeah, you're boned. Yep. I'm actually legitimately stuck. And you're dead. I was too busy messing with the controls. Your body was found. Oh, By the way, you. when you guys donate for the donation thing, it will pop up on the screen. You, if you use Streamlabs or Kofi. Alright, so I guess if you stand up here, you can't get crushed, right? Guess I go down here. Yeah, that makes sense, I think. Maybe? Yes? No? Can I make that to where I don't have to hold, I don't have to hold it? I was hoping to get out of that. I cannot wait for the modding of Ghost of Toshima. It okay. will be amusing. Jump up there. No, was I not supposed to go down here? You are in a restricted area. Let me. No, not that. yourself up. Okay. okay. God, that is still finicky. Less, but... There we go. Give me a second so I can rebuild chats. There we go. Now I can rebuild chats. Nope! Jokes on you, I'm not about to get crushed again. Bow -bow -bow. Mm. Oh. Oh, there are buttons on there. Okay, maybe they don't do anything. Can they go down there? I think this is death. Yeah. It might be death. We die. And nothing of value was lost. Whee! 
I will say that mechanic is a little better than the last one. I do like that they do seem to improve each game, like each of the the, the, the stories. Like they mm. improve a little bit on the controls. I that is I, be able to go. I know not to go down there. Can you go, can you go prone at all or do you have to go while well, you're dead? Yay. I try using controller soup, it's easier for me. Instead, you were you had every bone in your body crushed. Terribly hot. So I, I forgot to tell you, you know I sent you pictures of the Nightmare on Elm Street books that I found? Yes. So I put them up online to show people because a lot of people haven't seen them and they are incredibly rare. Somebody offered me like a thousand dollars for one of them. Nice. I'm not selling them. I like my books. Does that go all the way up? No. Oh no, look, they, they, they go to the same level. Stay on this one. That's it's what not I was thinking, yeah. Push. Yeah, watch the one in front of you. Yeah, as it comes down like that, jump on that, then on this. Whoop! No! It's okay, I can come back over here. Woo! So jump, jump. So I do have the art for Princess Peach ready, but if you guys do want to donate Her. any art, I'm talking to you, Perv, because you're awesome. If you want to do like Kisa as Princess Peach or anything, for the new game, feel free, and I will definitely show it off as always for the for the thumbnails and for the uh, side screens and everything like that. Is it and I'm happy to say the comic is in full production right now. Our little Smuggy is working hard. He is doing a great job. I'm also working on some writing stuff for the comic. I might throw at you and see what you think, because uh, Minute and I last night were talking about some ideas. And he was helping me work through an idea that, like, you ever get that idea you have, like, you have it, but there's, like, that little fine point to pull it together that you can't seem to figure out? Uh, sometimes. Yeah, he helped me with that, because I had, like, an idea I really wanted to use, but I couldn't, like, figure out how to get it, you know, tie in just right. That's why I like kind of throwing ideas at people. Hold on, I'm seeing screen tear. Let me see if I can fix that. I bet you I know what's doing that. No, that's off. Hmm. Let's try that and see if that works. Yeah, that's it. I need to get a new monitor. Oh, Big O. I remember that anime. I actually saw I, had, um, I actually saw recently at Goodwill. Pioneer DBZ, DBZ DVDs, and I was gonna get them for you, Mike. Some dude, like, I, I held them up, and some dude grabbed them out of my hand and ran off. I'm like, what the fuck? It happens. Yeah, no, I wasn't gonna chase them down. Cause I was like, oh, sweet, these are the Pioneer ones. And you're a Dragon Ball Z person, so I figured you'd really like them. Mm. Okay, Sera, Sera. There's two paths. The one, the, thing I do need to the one thing I, I should grow in my collection is uh, anime. I only have a select few films. I can help you with that. You know it. We gotta watch those uh, those action DVDs I got. I still can't believe I managed to get some ADV stuff. Oh, right, this is so gonna these, suck. Alright, so these three go up like this. Then you have to jump across. Yep. No. I almost had it. Not even close. You tried to jump to the one you should have been jumping to after the one you were supposed to jump to. All right, so let, let's let me, instead yeah, let me of look at it. yeah, so when it comes up, they come up in order, so you have to go try and go in order, otherwise you're not going to have enough time. But you have to jump directly across to that guy, and then then you can jump along and then go to that. Yep. Uh, so let me give it a minute get, to go back. Yeah, to wait until it comes back up. So now. Yes, people like that. There, there are insane collectors out there. I've... You just saw that, right? Yes, I saw you fail. No, I didn't fail. I got pushed backwards. Bullshit. I did. I was right there, and something pulled then me you back. Then you hit. Then you hit the wire. Maybe. Yeah, there's like an invisible wall right here. Is there a spit? Oh, well, I mean, you could stand on this platform, so... Yeah, no, but there's, like, right here, there's a weird little invisible wall thing. Or, like, a... All right, well, maybe it wants you to wait on this platform. Maybe it doesn't want you to do it all at once. But that's yeah, I was gonna wait. 
even well no but like you know normally i, I didn't say normally but if you're like trying to speed run this oh uh, i guess we weren't supposed to hop on that we were it's just i got the timing wrong ah because you're supposed to jump from there to the other next one um yeah no i've seen collectors go nuts like that that's not that uncommon i had a guy um I've told yeah story. you're right look up they're supposed to be are you hitting the light maybe or no no that's too high up oh. i think right here you know what i think it is you see this wire right here yeah i think for some reason it's reading that it's like right in this area yeah, it could be, yeah you're right could be a glitch yeah uh, i'm gonna let him go it, down again and see i was gonna say at least it's in a spot where it's not okay so. that goes up first Oh! Okay, so I didn't have yeah. to jump on that. Yeah, they were fucking with you. I'm doing pretty okay. I've been working on videos today for, for supporters. Some more I want to hug a gator. Um, took the dogs out to do some training and stuff. It's been raining a lot, so I didn't get to go for a run today, which was mildly annoying. And Because I can't go out with Nico when it's raining. Oh. Thought I went flying off it. Yeah, that's nope. a lot better than holding the button. Nope, you are still attached. Oh. I'm supposed to go take some stuff to the storage unit tomorrow, but if it rains, I'm not going to do it. I will be right back really quick. Mm hmm. Sorry about this, guys. Everybody talk to Mike. Were you telling them about some of the one-shots we're planning? Uh, I wasn't telling them about the one-shot. I was saying about when we might be able to get back to Exorcists for Session 2. Oh, yeah. Everyone's uh, kind of excited for, for that one. And I have not forgotten Deadpool Bunny, everybody. Deadpool Bunny will make his debut. Yeah, I can assure you, I I've, Mike has shown me, and I think you guys will really like Deadpool Bunny. He'll be on the screen. I did have somebody ask if there will be a Wolverine bunny, and uh, should we make it okay for them to maybe donate to a certain amount of bunnies? Look, here's the thing, and uh, if Moko, if you're listening to this, if Moko is enough of an asshole to kill the other bunnies, then yes, you will get a Wolverine bunny. No, they have to donate for the Wolverine bunny. They haven't yet. Okay, you have to donate for the Wolverine bunny. She makes it mean. Yeah. Um, and then it. if we, and then if he kills the uh, any of uh, the third bunny, a final bunny, that bunny is the saber tooth bunny. I'll talk to to Moko after the stream. What about killing people? Yes, it's gonna be him or uh, uh, or uh, Raka. Well, Raka's the one that. Well, Rocco didn't try and kill any of the bunnies. No, he didn't. If somehow I've turned into his assistant bunny, which I'm fine with. Oh, yeah, I forgot you're also playing a bunny. I am. That's what keeps me worried. It's the size of a gnome. It is. We need a husk bunny. Remind me who husk is? Husk? I don't know. I've Hold heard on. that. All right, Miss Harper. Please explain the situation. Spare no... Well, luck any not. All the children were getting asleep. It was peaceful, quiet. Catnap had the red smoke in the room. Then suddenly, there was this scream. <sighs> Nightmares happen, I know, but this, I mean, dilated pupils and quivering lips. The way her eyes darted around the room, and I swear, her hand in mine, it felt like her blood was boiling beneath her skin. <sighs> she saw something, too. Something horrible. She... Uh, I I'm sorry. I don't mean to. Miss Harper. We'll provide the very best care we can offer. You have my word. But this is important. Did Marie happen to describe Yes, a monster, she said, said that it was colorless. Gosh, I could feel the poor little heart pounding. For her, it was right there. A and her movements, they were so wild. Arms flailing, legs kicking. Hmm. I, I wanted to talk to her. See how she's doing. I just really need to hear her voice right now. That would not be advised, Miss Harper. There are many concerns 
we must address at this time. But vitals show normal, and we'll continue to monitor. She'll be okay. <laughs> that rips off her skin to reveal body made by what is that the the, the new mutant she was from the mutants wasn't she i don't think i need to have a, a a bunny that sheds its skin that's just kind of creepy i could do something with my bunny that kisa does in the comics but i feel like that would just be a spoiler so i'm not gonna do it other than being psychotic before you say it if I remember correctly, I believe you guys figured out that the thing that you thought was boobs or an ass was actually an ass. But I can't remember. Look, no, no, no. That was that was Kim, and that was Raka. Oh, no, I thought you no, were no. with him. That was yeah, that was Kim and Raka. No, I was digging in the dirt. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, and you went slowly over the trying to body. understand how badly I'm going to kill. I owe Moko, by the way. I remember what Moko did to me. You owe him... What, what did he do to you? Do you remember? Because of my the ear sensitivity, he did that, that sound thing. Oh, yeah! He blew out your eardrums! Fucking asshole. How do I get this in? Do I just... Oh, okay. Uh, yep, you get to be close right. to it. So I need another one. Yep. Where is the other one? Hush, Hush is a completely different thing. Hush yeah, is in Batman? Yeah, that's yeah, he's a Batman villain. No, they're talking about Hush cuz other people thought that, that he was talking the guy was talking about Hush. Oh god, that reminds me when I I did a dry a uh, crossover thing with a couple people a tabletop type thing. And oh god, someone played Hush. And he just got so pissed with our shitty Superman who ended up ruining the whole group thing. It just became hush fucking with that with Superman. And I'm super, super Everyone angry. started doing it. To be fair, everyone in the t in the group did it. He he. See, here's the problem. Whenever anybody tries to role play super substantially weaker than you, is all of those people just wind up killing everybody because those people just annoy the fuck out of them. Well, but here, here was the problem, was everyone was getting along really good because it was like a crossover event. Uh, so we had some people playing DC, we had some people playing Marvel, and then we had, you know, people that were switching off characters, that kind of thing. And, like, this guy was getting progressively angrier because we'd have, between fights, we'd have, like, the downtime, you know, where characters interact. And we did a thing, um, I was playing, like, the main uh, DM type and, like, the big villain. So I was only playing a couple minor characters. But we had a thing where, like, after a major fight, I think it was with... I want to say it was Brainiac. I want to say it was Brainiac or something. One of those. And it was just a couple Justice League members and the Guardians of the Galaxy chilling in space uh, with some of the Green Lanterns and some other minor characters. They were all just kind of shooting the breeze. And talking. Even some of the villains were kind of involved in it, because it's supposed to be at that point both sides have figured out there's something fucking wrong. You're in... The universes are being crushed together. So even some villains, you know, are working with the heroes type of thing. So they're all kind of relaxing and talking. And it was fun. This sounds very autistic. It was. And this guy playing Superman was having a fit. Because the villains weren't trying to kill everyone. They were relaxed talking and you know they were shit talking some of the heroes that they knew and stuff which was working really well because it was trying to see like you had somebody trying to provoke the other one just to start a fight that kind of thing but like he kept complaining about every part of downtime because there was a not enough fighting and that the villain wasn't killing enough people and yeah, i'm yeah. like because i went from being a very serious villain in there to going if this guy is gonna bitch about everything i do and it was getting bad enough the other players were coming to me and going, because he was brought on by another player. And, like, they were like, I don't like this guy. Can we make him someone else? Because, you know, he's flaunting his character and he, he's getting involved in things he shouldn't. He's trying to ruin, you know, the parts of it that aren't fighting and stuff like that. And, by the way, this guy had shit rolls. Uh, so he was a very bad Superman. So 
Eventually, I just started fucking with him, and I just started pulling out chaos and just not being a serious villain. And eventually died entirely because he complained so much nobody wanted to actually show up for the uh, nights that we were doing. That's the one I told some of you about and you actually wanted audio and I went, fuck no, there's no way I'm gonna record, there's, we don't do it through audio. Hey, I remember you. A guy who always remembers. Bubba Fett. Yep. Okay, Pepper's his name is Bubba Fett. Fett. It should have more of a redneck, like... Want to know what I remember about you? It did say in the last one that we worked in the factory. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? That bro's Mike hates him. <laughs> you, um... Bubba Fett. Hey, I remember you. What's my favorite hero or villain team? You'd have to be a lot more specific. It's called Bubba Fent. I don't know. If the name is Bubba Fent, I feel like it should have a bit more of a redneck twang. It's Bubba Bubba Fent. What the fuck is that? That's oh. new. Okay. Do I have a cell phone now? Maybe. It looks like an 80s cell phone, doesn't it? Okay, it's in there. All right. Yes. Lost. I don't want you to die, so I'm gonna help you. Check this out. The tube thing on the back wall. Ready? But boom! You can use that battery to open the door. I will say I do like how every game kind of has like a different mechanic. This is a trick, you little bastard. That wasn't the doll. We still haven't seen that thing return. Other oh, you missed that, by the way. I was right. She's evil. So of course she she's evil. She legitimately had a chance to leave, and she's like, no, I'm going to keep you here. Yeah. Fuck that bitch. Yeah, no, you'd think the evil doll would be like, I can be free and, and cause mass havoc. Why do they Whoa. never do it? Did you do that? Because they're stupid. I guess that's where Catnip found you. I know you're probably mad at Catnip for found me? letting you escape. I couldn't you give a fuck. Our mission. Fuck you. Together, we can save a lot of people. I don't care. Including you. Play Kara straight ahead. It's the home of Catnap. One of the smiling critters. There used to be eight of them, I think. Now it's just him. Play Kara is his church. His hunting ground. Whatever he wants it to be. You better get moving quickly. We'll keep in touch. Oh, and by the way, my name is Ali. Nice to meet you. Okay. Burn in hell. TMNT? Uh, well, what are we talking? Like, Marvel Comics? Um, fuck, my favorite group I mean, Marvel? I mean, I, I think they, are they, are they saying, are they saying specifics or are they saying yeah, in general? People, I asked them specifically. Somebody asked what uh, hero team or villains team I like the most. And it's like you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to be more specific on that one. I swear to God, if you say West Coast Avengers, I'm not that fucking cruel to you. No, <laughs> I had a moment of going to say it, but no. God, I, saying the Avengers or the X Men is too. I mean, it's easy, but yeah. it's also relatable. I mean, I understand you don't want to go with the with, with the obvious choice. Yeah, I mean, I was never huge on group, like, heroes anyway, believe it or not. I like, I like the loners. I know, I'm an edge queen. It, like, I like the shadow and things like that. It, it depends on the team and who's on it. Yeah, honestly. like, if you're talking teams in comics that I do like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles would be one. I like the team because you have this, you know, you have such a diverse group of personalities that it works. Because when you fight, like... Leo and and Raph fighting makes sense because they're both kind of hotheads in a way. Leo doesn't want to admit it, but you know he is. 
Mr. Goody Boy. Um, but favorite Decepticon, Soundwave. I thought I've made that known. <laughs> Soundwave and Megatron and Starscream. Every girl likes Starscream, by the way. Any girl that's into Transformers, if you ask them, they will usually eventually come to Starscream. Either in Marvel or DC. God, I'm not saying for villain group Legion of Doom, because that one's way too obvious. I really have to think about it, honestly. Like I said, I'm more of a loner hero type. Like, I like Batman. I like the Shadow. I like those. I have a type. I have a type if it's not completely obvious. Uh, Doc, Sa uh, Doc Savage. God, I, I feel like I'm being a hipster and I don't mean to be. Like, I'm legitimately not being a hipster on purpose. By the way, if anyone remembers Doc Savage, congratulations. I know him in name only. By the way, guess what I found a DVD of and I forgot I got it from my friend at Warner. The original Spirit. Oh. Yeah. We gotta sit down and watch it. It's pretty cool. Wait, that's that the 40s one? Yeah. Oh, okay. The one based on Eisner's? Yeah. Ooh, what the... That's a new mechanic. That, did that just redirect your arm? Yes, it did. Oh, okay. All right, so no, so oh, there's so there's, there's handles on the top, so you can spin this. Yeah, I'm just stuck to see if you can do it from the other side. Can I grab this? Yes. Looks like you can. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it gives you a guiding light. That's nice. Oh, yeah, that's good. We just gotta turn it. I know now. him. I like the spirit. Um, Dick Tracy is another huge one. I actually have an original uh, comic thing from Dick Tracy that my grandfather left me, like my blood grandfather, because he was a huge Dick Tracy fan, apparently. Do you need to grab it with both hands? Uh, I don't think I can move it yet. Maybe or I have can to you, power it up. Oh, I have to power it up. It? Look. Oh, okay, yeah. So, all right, so that one and then... Does that just yeah. go around it? Well, you're going to no. have to grab it with the other hand. Anyway. Move it at all? No, never mind. Do you have to grab the top? Maybe? No. Oh. Wrapping it around doesn't work, does it? No. Hmm. Is there anything over here, maybe? No. Are you using the wrong hand for this? I was looking at the chat there. No, I nope. think. Or do you have to touch that other thing with the green hand? Oh. Oh, that's why. Aim the beam at the power input while touching the power source. Man, that went away quick. That's how you have to do it. Is that? That's not the one that gives you a charge. Hmm, so how do you rotate it is the question. Here. I think you need to rotate it in order to... Yeah, the thing on how to do it went away too fast. Whoa, that just sent me flying. You can grip that, and it does yeah, do something. Like so should've. we have to be able to do... Th oh, dear God. What have you done? It's okay. They're not my actual... What happened to my actual hands? Am I holding these, or do I just not have hands anymore? I have no idea what's going Rotate on. Rotate the beam with... Okay, grab the handle. Rotate the beam with... What about A and E? Was it A and E? Oh, Okay. Okay, so here's what it is. The controller doesn't work for this. Oh, okay. So that's that what it is. That, why that it makes working. a bit more sense now. All right, so we've got to aim this thing into the port there on the wall. Yeah, I just had it. Yeah, I think you got it there. Okay. Got it. Gotcha. Yeah, it was a little bit of it. I'm using a controller just because it's right-handed controls. So it's a little easier for me to use a controller since I'm left-handed. But it mm -hmm. looks like some of it's not completely programmed, which is fine. I'll probably update later. I don't know how long this has been out. Can I go through these? Yes, I can. Little. Oh, look, 
look, it's cat snack or snack cat, whatever. That's actually Snippy. cute. That thing is actually kind of cute. Snacky wacky. There is so much porn apparently of her. God, why? Someone's gonna send me a porn game of her to play. Hey, I'm Chicken Chicken. Wanna go outside and hang out? You know who he sounds like? Do you remember Inuyasha? A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. It's looking pretty bad outside. <laughs> sounds like the guy that voice a little bit like the guy that voiced Inuyasha. I think it's just like the end part, like the way he speaks at the end, does it? I a little never bit. Been outside before. Will you come with me? Here, follow me. No. Jesus. Why no. is why does everything end in screaming? Because horror? Hey look, Pac-Man. That's not Scott McNeil. Scott McNeil didn't voice any Asha. Scott McNeil voiced uh Kaguya? Kaguya. Kago. However you say his name. He voiced the guy that was into Gome. We should know. I know I know Scott. It's been a couple of years since I've seen him though. Yeah. Okay, that's plenty of joy. This seems safe, Mike. Alright, well We're we had a good die. run. They're gonna die. Oh, did it freeze? Scott McNeil is awesome. In real life, he is actually insanely nice. He also likes to fuck with people he knows. He spent an entire con because it was a very small con and not a lot of people showed up. He spent most of the time sneaking Hello. up behind me and scaring me. My name is Elliot Ludwig. When you look around at the world today, what one thing do you think it needs more of? And not death. I asked around once. Money. Nuclear I bombs. Never have enough. Understanding. I can never get any. Faith. The common man has lost it. Each answer was different. And I could perhaps see some little truth in each. But I think each was also missing something. Something simple. You see, not one of them could muster a smile. I didn't think about I didn't think of Bioshock. What I'm thinking of is um a smile Portal is hope. Ah uh, no, I can definitely love. see the Bioshock. No, I hear the Bioshock, but it also like he makes me think of Portal. And there is nothing more a gratifying to my soul than though. being the reason yeah, for a child's smile. To be the spark that ignites all their hopes and dreams. For it is only through hopes and dreams that we may create a better world. One where yeah, our yeah, children no, need not be afraid. One where they are protected. After all, this company and its toys I can see the Bioshock in this scene. These children deserve oh, to smile. Oh, 100%. Yeah. They deserve to love. And they deserve Except for the, you know, the, the jazz hands. It's what Bioshock that is needed. Why it is with enormous pleasure that Did as it? the founder of Playtime yeah, Co, everybody needs it. I announce... No, no it doesn't. Playcare! Our very own on-site orphanage. But it's not only what? that. It's a school, a playhouse, a place to belong. I'm sorry, the Our Toy Factory doesn't just get to create a place where children... Dedicated in every inch and detail to ensuring a child's face. smile. No, you get it the old-fashioned way by stealing them out of the enchanted village of Disneyland and keeping them in the tunnels. That's why you Play don't go on to the small world with kids. You'll never see it again. To all yeah. who enter these doors. For what gives life its meaning if not a smile? How the hell is that ride still going? I don't know. This is a wor word swap for Bioshock. I gotta give one thing to the devs of this. And I'm being completely honest. Since we played the first one on. You can tell how much they put, like, each time they get a bigger budget. And you can tell they're actually putting money into each one of these. Like, each time they get a bigger budget. Like, the first one was very small. Second one got a bit bigger. And look at how much they put into this one. This is actually impressive. I'm not a huge mm -hmm. fan of the series, but I can give some respect. They actually put their money where it counts. Unlike some people who just keep making Flash games. 
I've got to go uh, quickly feed the pets. Do you mind uh, driving them sure. insane? Just running off all the different uh, D and D things we have that we can do on stream, and what we're planning to do after Exorcist is done. After that comes Calgary um, General. I'm probably gonna buy Princess Peach from it's Best me again. Buy. Ali, cool place, right? The no. kids used to live here. Now look at it. Anyways, do you see that statue in the middle of the room? Take the stairs that go under it. There's a really cool room in there that powers literally all of Playcare. I can give you a key down there. I don't trust him. If you can um, find a weapon. Or they donated to make him talk more. Works too. You, I was thinking of want... getting it from Best Buy because it has a acrylic stand pre-order bonus. Uh, is it ever coming back? Okay. Fuck that thing. Make it never come back. Hate that dog. That entire part was BS, by the way. I mean, this Burn is a nice fire. little play area for kids. This looks fine. Kind of explore a bit. I mean, the blood is worrying. Yeah, well, yeah, no, that that that's actually moderately concerning. Uh, the penguin was here. God, I forgot about Batman Returns. Come on, it was good. Yeah, but how much of that audience actually got that joke? <laughs> oh, just let me have it and pretend that they understood what I said. I could go more obscure if I really wanted to. We both could, but uh, unfortunately then you would just develop into Dennis hey, Miller. I'm kicking chicken! Wanna go outside and hang out? Hey, I'm kicking no. chicken! So thank you, Jay, for the donation. You are awesome. First donation for this. What the? Well, that was interesting. Yeah, I will say that I'm I'm actually impressed how much work they put into this one. Again, I have seen games like this where they it gets rather popular and they just don't put the money toward you know any of the sequels and stuff. It's all just like quick, cheap. But I give them credit. It seems like this team has actually been really trying. Look, they need those Mochachito machines in the break room. And they need a technician who knows how to come out and service them at any time of the day or night. They're dealing with kids. I absolutely believe that. And Arlo Cooper GameStop to help buy Peach if you decide to get it there. Oh, I was saying the devs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought you meant the people having to deal with the kids in this game. Oh, no, no, that, that, that's very simple. You just need a gun and one bullet. People were showing me. Apparently, there's, like, toys for this game in stores and stuff like that, which I think I've seen once or twice. So, this dev team did really, really good. Got, again, respect to any indie devs who can make it like that. Never saw Mommy Longlegs' death. Yeah, he didn't get to see that. He was really tired last night. Yes. I have a cat. Oh, uh, Matt, could you check if GameStop has a um, pre-order bonus? I'll do it. But uh, I wanted to get the pre-order bonus from Best Buy. They seem to be the only ones doing one. That catnip stuffed toy creeps me out. The actual one? Like, is there a real one? Or just the one in the game? Because it does look like a prototype that they did build one. Came down here. What are we doing? That seems not safe. Gas production zone. Okay. So, yeah, there's a real the one. Wow. Now the question you're probably asking yourself is, where does it go? Well, head back out you should find a door just to the left of the cable car you took down here. I'd be legitimately curious what the actual one looks like. Hmm. It is actually also impressive that the devs did manage to reference a couple of 
actual toy issues that did happen. Even with uh, this cat thing, it didn't put kids to sleep, but it was like a stink something. Uh, Ashens did a video on them too, but I had known about it before then. Um, they're like, they were incredibly toxic. In other words, chew on it, kids. You didn't have to, just blow the stink gas at people. That'll do the job. Hey. Awesome. Why does everything have to have eyes? Because everything is alive. That thing. Yeah, that's not the eye. So we have one for the gas production zone. Is it, I think we did that a long time ago. Did he? Do we actually ever find out like the backstory of this guy? Because we've been told he used to work in the factory. Jazz head. Wasn't that a key? No. Was it? On the you gonna table? make me go back here? No. No, on the, on the rear it's table. A calculator. Oh, no, never mind. That was just a sticky note on that. I'm going to turn note. up the brightness a little bit. Yeah, that was just a sticky note on the notepad. Oh, you took away my brightness meter, you bastards. You learned. You Again, learned. Bright, bright, sunshiny day. It tells more on the protagonist's story later on. Okay, so it does tell. It's not breaking and entering if you have the keys. Did the main character have the keys? Sorry, yes, you're right. It's not breaking and entering. It's just entering. Is it breaking and entering if the place has been shut down for years? Yeah, I guess it is. No, that's trespassing. Then we just trespassed. Yeah, that's what happens to most people that try and trespass on dilapidated property these days. Yeah, everyone's got to make YouTube videos about this scary closed down place that's totally haunted, y'all. I'm actually impressed nobody ever steals from those places. Most of the time there isn't enough to steal. I've seen some that actually had a lot of equipment and shit left. Granted, some of it was... Maybe we not write in blood. That That's gonna smell fantastic. Yeah, I mean, I guess it'll eventually stabilize. You're gonna have a lot of flies, though. Mm. Well, this seems to be deep underground, so... That makes it worse, aren't the the I, I I flies somehow find as long as the climate is is you know conducive they seem to find a way. True. Like rats. You're in school, huh? Please tell me college. Once again, my channel's for 18+. plus. Well, I guess playing this game. My other channel's not, though. You can be a little younger and watch over th watch those games. The chapter intro mentions he was we were an employee at Playtime Co. before everyone disappeared. How long ago has it been since I did the first chapter and you expected me to remember that? When did we do the first chapter for this? A year or two ago, maybe? Is it, is it Welcome to the ago? gas production zone. The beating heart of the whole evil play care system. All that gas you see coming from the machine is made right here in the factory. It's called the red smoke. Right now, it's all headed off to the right. We need to make that red smoke go left instead. That's how we can get to him. The machine will probably have a few dumb safeguards for you to work around. But I think you can do it. I'll call you once it's done. Okay. Is that, is that just like communism in gas form? <laughs> oh no, does it make them retarded? No, it makes them speak Russian. Have you seen current communists? They're not Russian. Most of them are furries. Or something else I can't say on stream.
I mean, Cuba's still communist, and they have good cigars. I forgot they exist. Than I am. Yeah, but Cubans tend to stay near Miami. <laughs> I see. That actually, that actually explains a lot, considering people that we mutually know. Yeah. You could have. You can ask. They will absolutely tell you they mostly stay around Miami. We get a few here, but and they're usually very chill. It's like a Furby. Wow. Why do you go? Why go with a Furby? Because that's the sound mine used to make. Look, just because you had a defective model. I hated that, that damn mean that's thing. The, more that doesn't than mean you that's know. the default of it. That thing was possessed. I hated that thing. Look, even oh my regular, god, the first chance I could bury that thing where no one would find it, I did. Look, I, even regular ones are possessed. Those things were creepy. Thank you, Don. I had one, too. It was yeah, creepy. They were possessed. See, mine wouldn't turn off. Mine did that, too, after a while. No, I put mine it in, started like that. I put it in the closet, and I had forgotten to take the batteries out of the demonic little shit. And every so often, that thing would go off and scare the shit out of me. Oh, I would have burned it by then. I wanted to. But it was a present from a family member, so I wasn't allowed, because it was a first generation, and those are rare. I hated that thing the moment it came in the house. Yeah, my situation was the same thing, too. I just ripped the batteries out of it and buried it at the bottom of my toy bin. Kisa, Kisa Furby isn't real. She can't hurt you. Don't. No. No, you leave Kisa alone. She's a good girl. She doesn't deserve to be a Furby. Furby! Don't put that on her. Don't put that on that guinea pig. The, the best thing that came out of the whole Furby bullshit is the Simpsons episode where they had funzos. Because that shit was funny. That was like the last good Christmas special they had. Yeah. And that was like 15 years ago. God, I used to remember getting hyped up for their Halloween stuff. Oh, the early Halloween, the Treehouses of Horror were great. Even the early comics were really good, too. I have some of them. Because they got the show writers, you know, to write the comics. Yeah. They were so good. And I don't remember. I watched one a couple years ago. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Remember when Marge yeah, no, came out even... to give the warning? <laughs> that was so funny. Yeah, they don't even try to be even relatively creepy anymore, which kind of sucks considering they're aimed at adults. The perfect one was uh, Groundskeeper Willie as Freddy Krueger. Oh, God, yeah, that was so good. Uh, the, ep the, the name of the episode was great, too. It was uh, A Nightmare on Evergreen Terrace, because that was the name of the, the street that the Simpsons house was on. Uh, that was the same one that they had the uh, episode, the thing where um, the school was eating the kids. Yeah, the teachers were all eating the kids. Do you remember the yeah. one, the... the... The Raven? Yeah, Bart, yeah. Both God, that was so Bart. well done. Oh who and, Ho and Homer Homer is uh is the guy in the, in the study reading. Bart is the uh is the crow. Ooh. Or the Raven. Oh, and yeah. uh they got um I know who they got to do the reading. It was um it was, was like, it Mr. Burns? wasn't it um Hold on, I'm going to look this up. I want to say it was the guy who did uh, Mufasa, but I'm going to check. James Earl Jones? I think so. Uh, maybe. Give me a second, I'm going to look. I don't remember him doing that. Apart. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to think of some other, other good ones. They had a really good Shining one. Oh, they don't say who did. Let me see. Oh, the Shining one was funny. Like all the hard, it was. I was right. It's James Earl. It's James Earl Jones that did it, because he's got such a unique voice. Yeah. No, I just. I for some reason I didn't remember that. 
Uh, I remember they did the one that was supposed to be where uh, it was the Outer Limits episode where Homer got locked in, like, the 3D space with the black hole. Yeah, it was their first 3D thing. Like, it was when uh, yeah. 3D was just starting to get really big, and it was, like, a yep. huge event. And they did a really good job with it. Like, for early 3D, that looked really good. Oh, they did the, the HAL 2001. Do you remember? It was one of the later ones. Well, not later now. <laughs> Um, where, uh, they got, it was Pierce Brosnan that did the voice for it, for, too. They, basically, they installed, like, Hal in their house, and it was, like, a smart yeah, house. Yeah, and it was into Marge. Then, yeah, Pierce Brosnan wanted to, wanted to bag Marge, so he had to get Homer out of the way. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's specifically why they got him to do it. Well, that, and I think, at that point, people were, like, begging to be on The Simpsons. Yeah, no, it was a bit, it was a much bigger thing back then. But yeah, and then Brosnan was also still James Bond at that point as well. Yeah, because they even did a couple of, I think, if I remember, they did a couple of jokes on that too. Oh yeah, they did. Because Marge really... wanted the, because Marge wanted the Pierce Brosnan voice because he's James Bond. We need to do like you and I just need to do a watch of old like Treehouse of Horrors. Oh those, yeah, no, oh, they're so it. good. There was the, there was the one where uh, what did the, the the aliens impregnated Marge? Do you remember the one where they, where it's the end of it and they take over the aliens? Uh, the two aliens take over and Homer's like, well, I voted for because <laughs> they're all enslaved because <laughs> yep. the humans are stupid and voted them in. Yep. Because it was a parody, obviously, on Mars attacks and shit like that. Oh, yeah. Well, those characters themselves are parodies on that. Okay, where do I go from here? So I got that over here, but it's not moving back. Oh, okay, so I can bring it. Can I, can I grab that from here? Oh, okay, that works. Okay. So, uh, we yeah. no, we're fucked. Yeah, I maybe want to bring it a little bit more. Well, I think the problem is, is that I do we have to have it like right here? Yeah, that, that's we... what I was thinking. Can I move it anymore, Good or is question. it stuck like that? The only other thing too is just to see how far you can get a momentum alone, because right before you just kind of did it and then moved in the air. Oh, you mean like a run jump? But you can't yeah. really run much. That's as fast. Well, as even if you're just moving forward at, at, at a rate when you're doing it. Yeah, let me see if there's anything I can grab. I'm I'm just getting up here just so I can see a little bit. Maybe I go up here. Uh, let me try something really quick. Nope. Okay, so I don't go up there. Just trying to see if maybe you know it's making. Oh, okay. it, oh, look! Look at the 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 way that pipe is over there to your left. Let's try that. Okay. That works. Now yeah, can I bring it over? Now I think Oh yeah, you can grab the front. Good. Yeah, so spot now it. So now yeah, so now you I'll can wait get till you're done. The, there you go, bud. Yep, so now you can get to that. People were like, you, she didn't pay attention. Cute people, I pay attention more than you think I do. Run jump? Uh, that's what I was thinking, but you don't really like here's running. You don't really get that much more speed, so I didn't think that would work. No, ultimately it was a it was a more puzzly solution. We gotta do the uh, once we finish Mi Marvel Midnight Suns. Instead of doing the project I wanted to start, since we'll be doing Alone in the Dark in the end of the month, um, I say we do the Friday the Thirteenth puzzle game. Sure, I'm down for that. Who doesn't notice a missing hand? If it if Fuck it gets us people. addicted, if it gets us addictive, oh god, I remember that. Yeah, yes, yes. Everybody um, clipped that, by the way. I'm sorry, but that was a bad one. I don't hide that I don't was, see things I, right I, away. I just, I just want like a solid timestamp between <laughs> when it happened and when you noticed. I just want the exact amount because I don't want to clip the entire. I don't want to sit. If somebody can clip the entire thing, like from you know when I I noticed and shit, uh, let me know because I will put that up as a, a stream light highlight. You know what? Hang on a second. I'm gonna find the time steps. Ah, oh, you suck. Make them work for it. Is that one right? Yeah, that one looks. 
looks right. You guys act like I care. I know I don't notice things right away. And I'm not even gonna make an excuse. I didn't notice there was no hand. All right, so. Gotta power this, right? Yeah. And what do I have this pointed at? That one's also pointed there, too, right? That's got that pointed. What? Does that work? Anything over here? No, it can only point to those two. I'm just experimenting. That one's there, definitely. How do I get this open? Gotta get one of these two open. Buttons? Hmm. That one's connected. To that. Oh, do I jump up there, maybe? Oh, I bet you that's what I do. Yeah! Oh, did I get them backwards? No, I didn't. I'm just dumb. Why'd I jump down? Hmm. No, that one's right, I thought. No, maybe it's not. Can I get that from up there, though? No, that's not right. Yeah, that should be right. I should have it. Complicated, didn't I? It is possible. No, I yes, I did. I overcomplicated. Let's go over there. Wait. Okay, so that needs power. You're not gonna make it that simple on me, are you? No, you're still gonna make me go from there. Alrighty then. Woo! There we go. Boom, baby. There's a third one, isn't there? Where the hell is the third one? Oh, thank God. See, I'm good at puzzles, everyone. Just different kind of puzzles than 
normal. Puzzles where you think outside the box. Mike is good at, you know, normal puzzles. Where you have to think hard. I like puzzles. I actually really like playing puzzle games when I'm not on stream. I have a couple on my cell phone I play. That reminds me. I could play more of my fashion game. One day I'll stream that because people wanted to see it. Apparently there's like a s similar one on PC. So I might stream that just for fun eventually. Won't make Mike suffer through that one. I'm not that cruel to him yet. I guess this way? Where did we go in here before? We went in here, didn't we? Uh, so I calculated the actual amount of time that it was. I can hear the smile on your voice. <laughs> you want me to say it out loud? You want me to Feel say free. I don't, I'm not ashamed of my own stupidity. <laughs> The entire amount of time between when you, in the moment when you lost the hand and when you said on stream, where did the red hand go, was a total of 10 minutes and 43 seconds. Yep. That's about <laughs> right. <laughs> I can safely say it was over 10 minutes of time. I didn't notice. I was too focused on everything else. What do I do now? Oh god. Turn this on. What what just happened? Oh, was I supposed to stand here to set something off? Mm. Hold on, some- I've apparently threatened with fan art. Let me see what this is. Oh good, you got that guy. Is that- One up girl, Kiris Kisa Furby. Oh, I see what- that's adorable! That's adorable. I'll make that part of the thumb, the, the, once it's, are you going to color it? Because if you're going to color it, then I'll put it on, uh, let me know, just so I know about putting it on this, up on the, um, border for when we do Princess Peach. Indeed. See, that's cute. I like that. Thank you. That is adorable. Coloring it when you get working, you're at work. Oh, that's adorable. I love that. Pink lemonade or regular lemonade? I like pink lemonade, but I've never known what the difference is. Are you, you are joking, right? There are pink lemonades that taste exactly like regular lemonade. Really? Yeah. That seems like a waste. Yeah, um... Not Tropicana. Minute Maid does a pink lemonade that just tastes like regular lemonade. That's bullshit. That's why I get confused, because I know it's supposed to have a flavoring to it. It's supposed to have a strawberry flavoring to it, normally. Yeah, a lot of them around here don't. Bitches. I know. I I wasn't paying attention. What am I supposed to do? I guess go in here. I was I was busy calculating the time. <laughs> I'm so happy you're proud of that. Mm. Oh, what? Okay. Fine, I don't want to be in there anyway. 1043, that number will be committed to memory. Somebody's going to make that a 10-minute clip. They can, sure. It's yeah, just, no, they're more the than welcome be, to. The very beginning and the very end of it are only going to be the only funny parts. Just do a fast forward. Actually, if somebody gets me that, I will turn it... Uh, I've got the video. I you, have the I have the timestamps. If you can send me the timestamps, I'll turn it into something special. Dear God. I, I will do that for you guys. 
I don't care. I don't get mad when people make fun of me. At least I admit I'm bad at video games. My ADHD kicks in hard. By the way, apparently, have you ever heard of something called time blindness? What is that supposed to? No. What is what? What is the definition of that? I'm Supposedly, it means you can't at all understand time or keep track of time and are always late and apparently supposedly and i don't believe this it's part of adhd because everyone i've seen that claims to have it are just lazy fucks that don't know how to use an alarm and i use an alarm for literally everything even cooking i have my alarm going because i know what's going to happen if i don't well, most people when they're cooking have an alarm <laughs> My boss doesn't buy it, so it's it's not legit. I mean, I've been ADHD my entire life, and yeah, time management is hard because your brain is, is always on something else. Like, fuck, my attention span is terrible. But again, I have little notebooks around me. I have alerts on my phone. I have timers that go off to tell me things. Like, you have to know how to handle your ADHD, and I have a severe case of it. Ask Mike, he's dealt with me enough times. Sounds like a Tumblr term. That's what I was thinking. Hey, Talos. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen you, Talos. What's up, man, man? Guess we go in here. Dollars to donuts is started as one. Yeah, I don't like people doing that kind of thing, because ADHD is an actual... It is, it is not something to act like it's a great thing to have. It sucks. And I hate when people are like, oh, I can't control, I can't control my time management, so that means I have this disability. Fuck off. Don't make the rest of us look bad. Oh, another key. So this must be the f connect. No connection. No connection. Offline. Have you seen the body cam videos when everyone uses the I have I've seen that one. I've seen the video of the chick that tries to get out of the ticket when she because she says I have anxiety. Are you talking about the one that she started using all of these different terms to try to get out of it because she was drunk as a skunk? Oh, I've seen that one. One day we've got to watch those body cam things like on a, on the podcast because I want to see how Mike reacts to some of them. I've seen enough stupid people in my lifetime. <laughs> there's uh there's one and there's this chick and she's she's very drunk. But she's like, I have anxiety. Like she tries doing that and the cop doesn't give a fuck. He actually responds, "Yes, yeah, so do I." <laughs> and then she's like. Uh, you hate indigenous people? And, like, she starts all this different shit. And he just ignores her. Well, yeah. I mean, at that point, you... you At that point, you know you're... you're you, you probably have one that you're gonna have to process. Oh, yeah. That. There's one I just saw yesterday. Uh, that made me mad. It was a little old... It was an old lady. And apparently there was a guy with a service dog. And she kicked the service dog. She got arrested for it, but she didn't see what she did wrong. What was the reasoning for kicking the dog? So the dog, from what I saw, the dog didn't have the vest. And the guy said it was because the vest was being cleaned, but it was a service dog and the people at the grocery store knew him. It'd be similar to how, like, if, when I go with Miko and sometimes I forget her service dog thing. Like, the, one, the store here, they know me, so they know her. So apparently the store knew him. This lady was screaming at him because it was a grocery store. The dog was just sitting there not doing anything. And the lady s apparently screamed at him and then kicked the dog. Huh. And then the cop just absolutely would not deal with her shit. And she's like in the cop car because it, it finally started dawning on her as they were driving to the police station. Because she's like, you know, I, that dog's going to rot in hell. And I'm like, lady, fuck you. And then she finally gets it and she goes, so what happens if I don't show up for the court date? I'm like, that's not something you tell a cop. 
Yeah, no. That's not something you tell a cop. If you don't show up for the court date, that means there's a warrant out for your arrest. Oh, if that lady had kicked, had kicked Miko, there would have been... I, I would not have been the one that needed to do anything. If you think I'm protective of that dog, you guys have not seen what Mama Sen does. And she's... I almost always have some... But it's very rare I'm off on my own with things. Because of my anxiety. And um, I have had people yell at me for Miko. Um, I've told the story before. There was a Target employee. Because we, when my grandpa was very sick uh, and was in the cancer ward. We, um, Miko would go in her, one of her dresses, you know, to kind of cheer up everybody at the cancer ward. And we had went to Target afterwards. She still had her dress on. She had her service bandana on because she's a Dachshund. We don't give her a vest because we don't want the weight on her. And this employee came over and screamed at us. And he was describing a guide dog, not a service dog. There is a difference between the two. And I said, well, she's a service dog to try to get disengage and he cornered me and started screaming at me bad enough I started crying and I was shaking and he ran off because people were starting to look look over and the um the manager came over the store manager came over and talked to me and I'm pretty sure fired that guy which I said you don't have to fire him just please ask him not to do that again and I I've, I've been I've gone to that store ever since because that store manager always comes and says hi and gives Miko treats. But there are people who act completely fuck all insane about service dogs, and I understand because there are people who do not have an actual service dog because there's sorry uh, there's a registry that you can sign up for and you can submit your paperwork and your training information which Miko is on the registry, but you don't have to because there's not a lot of laws in the books right now. Like, it's not regulated properly for service dogs, which is a problem. And I will agree, it is an actual problem. So I have seen a lot of people who do not have a service dog, like it's not trained at all. And it's, it's not good for those of us that actually have a dog. Like, Kiwi's right now under full training... He's gone right now to begin his training to be a service dog. P I, hey, I bet you those are the devs' kids. Oh, they gave her like the little toy. Um, we've had a we've had a lot of people who are very nice to Miko, but every so often we've got um our mutual friend Mossy was with me once, and we got kicked out of a restaurant. Because the, um, what do you call them, the maitre d's, the ones that stand out of the, the door? Yeah. Uh, wouldn't let us come in because of her. And the other employees were very nice to us, and we just sat outside. Thankfully, it was a cool day. But he would not let us in because he was, he was very sure that a small dog cannot be a sir. Fuck that. Hey, Mike, you want to start seeing some shit? Yes. Let's get into it. Whee! Will this kill us, or are we just going to start seeing things? No, oh, isn't this communism? <laughs> I mean, there's no food around. I want to make another joke, so fuck it. I mean, there's also a lot of dead kids, so maybe. What the fuck, man? <laughs> the pit bull will emotion. I wasn't going to go there. I couldn't help it. Uh, I've seen, I've seen two or three pit bulls that were service dogs that were actually really well trained. I'm not saying that they're not a bad, you know, you can, that's the whole thing. A dog needs the proper training. I have seen great pit bulls. I have seen ones that, um, I wouldn't go near with a 10 foot pole, but I've seen very good ones too. It's all about how you train the dog and also know to read your dog. That's the other thing. Eh, you don't really need a map function too much in this. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a bad house. The hallways are very long. Look, I just want a nice four bedroom. The pitbull will emotionally start mauling a toddler. Holy shit. <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> Did you see the, uh, the AI art of the uh, airdrop to pitbulls that were going around for weeks? No. Happy and fun way 
on happy and fun way was it done hang on a second go go back to the start happy yeah happy and fun why was it done is it is that an h or an a that's an h it doesn't join at the top oh okay I like the, the frames. Are we going to get a visit from Scarecrow? That's what I've been thinking. But um, Aw, oh, I wanted to get a close-up of that. Can I? No, I really can't, damn it. Tragic news this morning as of 9 Oh, this is PT. Local authorities report that the body of a young boy has been found no. on the estate of the late Elliot Ludwig. An esteemed toy maker and originator of the Playtime Company. At this time, an identity for the child awaits official confirmation. Found in an upstairs bedroom in a large duffel bag, officers on scene report that the remains appear to have been disturbed. Organs as well as key bones from the skeletal structure were reported missing from the body. It is unknown at this time whether this extraction was, in fact, the cause of death. This is going to be PT. Also, Talos, that's terrible. Like I said, I'm not... Pitbulls are the type of dog you really, Tragic really need this training morning, for. As of 9.45 a.m., local authorities report that the body... Like, Miko's training class, they had a pit bull, and he's All very well events, trained. Playtime Co. was asked for any comment regarding the discovery. This is what they had to say. Quote, It's sickening. Elliot Ludwig was a great man. And those who knew him understood that he was not capable of violence, let alone what others now claim. He had a deep love in his heart for children like this one, making the actions of whoever planted this body all the more sick. We look forward to clear his good name, both in the public eye and in the eyes of the law. Being a dead kid. Stay tuned for more. Smack him. You know what would be interesting? Because somebody mentioned this reminds him of Dollmaker. Following recent events, Playtime Co. was. If, could you imagine Dollmaker like classic Rocksteady have done a Superman game and actually done something really creepy with Toy Maker, something similar to this? Because you could do a lot with Toy Maker. Hmm. Don't make him having hurt kids or anything, but I mean just like a creepy thing similar to what they did with. Well, obviously Scarecrow is easy, but you can do like a lot with creepy toys and stuff with Toy Maker. Mm, this is true. I love a flashlight. Oh, there we go. You need to run. Um, is this going to turn into Resident Evil? Maybe. Was this, did this come out before or after, what was it, eight? Or not? Yeah, it's eight, right? They haven't eight, brought eight, it. Eight, yeah, Village Eight is the most recent one. That's Resident Evil Village. Despite Playtime's proclamation of Ludwig's innocence, many believe his reclusive and mysterious nature displayed over the previous decades lends suspicion to this claim. When questioned, Ludwig's neighbors indicated that he would often return to his home in strange hours of the night and depart again before sunrise. Some believed he was sick. Others that don't move, don't move an inch. Playtime Co., it seems, intends to keep Elliot's name within its brand regardless. What is sure to be a long legal battle will follow. Yep, they're doing the scarecrow thing. I'm not opposed to that. I actually like those levels a lot. It's supposed to tell you when you're going the right or wrong way, I wonder. Yeah. 
Okay, so there's that big ass cat monster. Hello, Satan. Bye, Satan. Satan's butthole. Guilt. As haunt. Guilt haunt. What the hell did I do? Am I Ludwig? Or Ludwig's kid? Or did I release the monsters? Is that what we're gonna go with? You're Beethoven? I can't really run. Moments that, like, you know, visually can only be represented in a video game where you're just watching somebody, like, randomly crouch and then walk down a hallway. <laughs> the enemy's just kind of watching, like, is there something wrong with this guy? Why are you crouching? Why are you crouching? I'm trying to kill you! Die! Oh, is it glass? I guess. Guilt haunts you. Joke's on you, I don't care. Did I get the kid killed? Is that what we're gonna go with? Like it's called survival of the fittest. Sometimes shit happens. You couldn't prove shit in court. Don't crouch. It's not in the rules. Yeah, it doesn't like it when you crouch. Get up. No. Get he up. totally drove that car over himself. Get There's up. no witnesses, of course. Get up. I feel like saying something terrible, but I don't know if it'll get you nailed. You want to type it out? Yeah. Oh god, give me a flashlight. <laughs> Go for it, that won't get us in trouble. And remember, boys and girls, Jeffrey Epstein totally hung himself in a prison cell. Wink. You just went farther with that, didn't you? Yeah, I had to. Greetings, employees, and welcome to your first day here in Playtime. We're certain that in the days to come, you'll find your new family here every bit as loving and supportive as your own. Feel free to wander the halls, sit in the mess for lunch, or watch our children play and learn to their little hearts' content. Join the innovationists where the bounds of science are continuously pushed, or join the counselors of Playcare whose diligence and care for our children will help shape a brighter future. Just you see. Now, every one of you has your part in that future, so should you come back tomorrow feeling unhappy for where you are, or what you've done, worry not, for your supervisor is here and happy to listen. And, should you come back years later, your conscience finally getting the better of you, May you descend into the dark and the dust, finding all that awaits you are incomprehensible horrors, each hungry for your return, each eager that they might find you. Perhaps they'd smile at you from a shadow, their smiling mouths full of teeth and meat and plastic, watching and waiting patiently for their turn at a warm welcome. Or perhaps they won't allow you such time to figure your place in the world you'd left, a world that's theirs now. Welcome home. It's the ring! Here's the run button. Okay. 
Okay. Were we supposed to duck inside a door? No, that's supposed to happen. Okay. Look, if you did awful shit, I'm just saying, why would you go back? Also, it'd be funnier for just somebody we're playing a complete sociopath that does not give a single fuck. Really be able to explain the silence. Look at the face. Yes, I see it. Dear God. Kill it with fire. You didn't notice, did you? What? What was did I supposed to notice? That her hand has changed? The hands are back? Yeah. I know it's back. I didn't lose my hand again. I knew I didn't have my hands before. Yeah, you still don't have your red hand, though. You and the red hand. It was the worst hand. Somebody hanged the doll. Considering that thing put me through a memory game, hang it harder. God, that would have sucked if you weren't there. Oh god, my larynx! I'm just gonna imagine he's just very Italian. Or he could be French. Don't ruin him. Nobody wants to be French. We don't even have a language! Just this stupid accent! Fuck <laughs> <laughs> the history of the world, part one. <laughs> Saying that French doesn't exist as a language. Do I get to ride a car? No. no. I don't trust you to drive. <laughs> I see how it is. Probably a good, good though. Don't trust me to drive. I can get up there! Thank you, game. I got up here. That's all that matters. Pull the string, then jump on it. Okay. Yeah, I think I actually did figure out the best way to actually teach you how to drive. Get, like, the, the most horrible shit box car I can find. <laughs> and then just duct tape, like, mattress parts, like, all around it so that I can keep it as decent as possible from being hit by things, and then let you go. Did you me all the way at the beginning? No. I'm willing okay. to try this. But I almost feel like this has to be filmed. Oh no, I will be filming it. I will not be in the Just car. make sure you don't get my face. We can blur it in post. Perfect. Still said to get on top of it. You can't get on top of it. You just were. Hmm. It's being finicky. The gas mask, find it. You look up, you need a gas mask. That. One person wasn't going to tell me this. I thought that was just decoration. Why, why is it being such a finicky little bitch? Why is it not grabbing what it's supposed to? Are you really going to be that bitchy over where I put the mouse? Wait, what? Oh, is it because it's already flared up? Okay. We in Metro now? We going to Metro, boys. Isn't the new Stalker game coming out soon? Maybe. 
So what's the point of this? Did I miss something? Oh. Yes, I did. Okay, so I have to be right here. Oh, it's been stopped? Okay. No, you have to not die. I will have you know that I am a master at dying. You can't tell me not to do the thing I'm good at. It's like telling an artist not to paint. I will die and I will break games. Glass, you can break it. I mean, we've already been in the gas and we were fine. Okay. Let's just check out some controls. Talk. Fuck you. Is there something I'm supposed to get? Oh, now I have my flashlight back. Mike, I swear to God, shut up now. Well, don't even say it. I know. I'm awesome. <laughs> Just kidding. They do get upset when you're not around on stream. I have been banned before from doing puzzle games without you. Look, I understand just from, like, a time-saving standpoint, but... <laughs> oh, okay, that's a lamp. There's nothing in here? You've been bamboozled. That fucking thing is gonna chase us. This is why you always go to abandoned places with a shotgun. Or a revolver. Either works. Or if you really want to make sure you're safe, a magnum. Do you imagine coming into this place with that thing? None of these little fuckers will last more than five minutes. Oh, now we can get our revenge. Does he have a gun? I didn't know the humans were allowed to have the guns. Or an RPG. Eh, that might be a little bit more dangerous. But why bother with the guns? You have go-go gadget arms. Yeah, but they have not done much to stop these things. Oh, God. Somebody just DM me. How much of a donation would it take for a security breach? Thousand dollars. I could use the money. Thousand dollars and, and Mike and I will do... Oh, and you have to supply the game and we'll do security breach. Mostly because I've heard that's a broken piece of shit, so I do want to see how bad we can break it. But a thousand dollars in the game. I try to be fair with it, with my pricing. I can move... All I said was fifteen hundred. I, I don't know why you guys are saying two thousand dollars is is too much. How much for you to play Duke Nukem Forever? The last time I tried that, I got really bad motion sickness. So I go for about three thousand. Do I have to play the whole game though, for that one because of the motion sickness issue? You get an extra fifty bucks every time you puke. Oh fuck that. There's DLC. That thing had DLC? Really? You know what the sad part is? I could probably get John St. John to show up for it. Oh, thousand. Why are you looking at- no. Stop looking at pictures of kids. Does this one just not even bother us? 
Wait, are all these things just have kids inside of them? Is that what we're going with? That they're not actually living toys, but there's kids living inside of these things? Please don't do that. Let me beat them with a bat. They used to be human? Were they? I didn't- Oof. So wait, so they were the kids. Is that what we're Dang saying? kids. Is that what it is? Did you I smack one of them? motherfuckers. They were kids. Kids and other people. So wait, are we doing that thing where they're not actually monsters, they're people? And we see them as monsters? Because I'm fine with that, because that that mommy one was a bitch. I'm fine with this. They're monsters? They aren't human anymore. Okay. This is why you always bring a shotgun, kids. I need to find that other one. Okay. I need to actually pay attention to the game and stop paying attention to you people. Unless somebody's going to point me in the right direction. Yeah, I'll, I guess I'll do Duke Nukem forever for that. Gar Ga Guard 10 of Ban Ban has a plot? I'm not even being funny. I've seen someone play that. Does that actually have a plot? Half of these fucking games... I, I feel like this is the closest I've seen in one of these games to having some kind of a plot. No, they were transferred into the toys. Brains and organs. That's why they bleed. Mage is cuter. They've been cooped up underground for too long and they all went mad. I mean, it's a kid's game. I'll tell. I'll, I'll take it. It's a kid's game. Maybe I missed something over here. By the way, thank you for real to the, everyone who's been donating tonight, subbing and becoming members and stuff. It does help a ton. Especially right now. Feed my power. We need one more power thing. I am very blind if I probably walk past it. I need that one. Go down this way. Can't go up there. You check the trash can. Mike, when have they ever been in the they're gonna be in the fucking trash can this one time, isn't that? Ew. No, nah, I meant the, the bucket actually next to the trash can. Nope. It would be funny if for once they did that. We gotta use that joke in the con. Have them stuck in a building. And then it's for once it's in the most obvious place. She's in here. I was expecting it to be in here, but it's not. I guess this is supposed to scare you because she's right there. It's go watch it's a Gundam then. I'm not offended if you go watch it's a Gundam. He's a he, his channel's fun. It, it said they still need to eat to survive, but it was said in chapter one. One of them eats for the sick enjoyment of it. Mage is a Frankenstein. The playtime toys are more Dr. Moreau. True. Yes. Mage is more closer to Dr. F to Dr. Frankenstein style. Because I like going with the classics. And the idea of a kid being able to do that just amuses me greatly. Someone point me to the direction I need to go to. Frankenstein! I still remember when I said that joke on a certain uh, mutual friend of ours stream and someone got really mad in the comment section because they didn't get that joke god people are stupid look look I'm, I'm there are just some there are uncultured people in this world but it is unfortunate everyone kept sending me that too Vash did and a couple other people because <laughs> it was funny
Yeah, John St. John's a nice guy. We've had him on the channel a few times and he helped with the Forgotten Tune. I mean, I would do. I, I'll do. You, you pay the money, I'll do. I'll do uh, Duke Nukem Forever. It might run better on my new PC. And I, I won't look forward to it, but I'll do it. For three grand, I won't complain at all. I could use that three grand. Really badly, actually. No, you have to complain, but you have to do it sexy. I'll do it. For three grand, I'll do it. Oh god, I hate this game. It's so terrible. Jesus, I don't know how long I'd be able to keep that up. Where's the VHS? Brown VHS. And we're gonna have to play smooth jazz over. You've heard rumor that he hates doing Duke Nukem. Not that I know of. The only one I know he doesn't really like that much is Big the Cat. And he said that on, my, on mine. But a job is a job. He doesn't hate doing it. It's just one of those, one of those jobs that's really dumb. Is it, usually it's in the room, isn't it? I guess not. So I guess I have to come back here once I find it. Okay. Yeah, it's not in here anywhere. Oh. Oh! You smarmy little tit. No! Stay down. My I'm, god. I'm stuck, Mike. There we go. You're stuck? I was stuck crouching. Subject is stable. Hips. Designated 1322. Two. Clear neural abnormalities were detected in his recent checkup. Though highly irregular, we've pulled him from the home sweet home just before lights out to perform. What are you doing with my friend? I. What are you doing out of bed? How did you get in here? Is Kevin sick? Why did you take him away? I. I yes. Kevin is very sick. Very. Very sick. But we want to make him better. But he can only get better if we take him to where we can provide proper care and give him proper rest. Well, do you really think he will be okay? I should think so. We're good no. at what we do, son. We paid attention in school, learned, and got our proper rest when we needed it. Just like you need it now, I should think. Come now. Let's get you on back to bed. Okay. It's Voice been a pleasure meeting you, Joseph. And I promise you, your friend will be all right. When you see him again, he'll have never been better. Word said before a disaster. Uh, I have lots of friends, but you can join the Discord and you can get lots of friends if you're over 18. I really need any new friends. Thank you. I'm a very solitary person. You can lose my mind. Things I could was that fucking frog. With the frog. I mean, it's a job. Sometimes you have to voice act things that are completely stupid. I've done it. Do you know how many people want me to do shit in the Valley Girl voice and I hate that voice? A lot of VAs hate their most popular roles. I mean, I could ask him, but I've never heard him say that. It, it's not, I don't think it's that they hate the roles. It's you get typecasted because of certain roles. And that, that gets to be a problem. I've heard that problem before, and I've heard both voice actors and regular actors get completely flustered by it because and annoyed. Because think about it, you want to do a whole variety of things, but you're only known for one. Right, this thing has got to be somewhere. How am I not finding this fucking green glowing thingy? Why did I get stuck? Don't get stuck. Oh, should I try to go to... What is its name? Somebody said Kissy? And take that thing out of its hand? I can try that. Kissy? I think that's apparently the pink thing's name. Oh, God. Actually, that makes sense. Trevor's voice actor actively shits on people who pay him to do the voice of Trevor, saying, it's just a cartoon, I'm not that character. 
I mean, if you want to hear something funny, I've I've interviewed a few times um, David Kay. And the last time he was on, he was talking about how he's going to be starting a YouTube channel, which he probably already has, because he likes to collect different um, liquors, and he likes to review them. And we were kind of talking about it. And he was also talking about during the pandemic, he got um, really bad panic attacks and anxiety, which a lot of people did, you know, during that time. So there was somebody who commented who got legitimately mad about David Kay talking about these adult subjects, because, and I quote, he's Megatron, and that's ruining my childhood. So let it be known, there are people who literally cannot differentiate a voice actor from the role. So you can see where it does get annoying for the voice actors. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Somebody claimed that because the voice of Megatron was talking about mental health issues, that it was destroying their childhood. What about the Michael Bay movies? Apparently that was fine. Like, the guy got mad about that and him talking about, like, talk because we, we started talking a little bit about alcohols. Because, again, he wants to start, and he might have at this point started a YouTube channel about, because he likes to collect them. You'd probably have fun, more fun talking to him about that kind of thing. But, like, that really set the guy off that he was talking about that and that he mentioned that he's got kids. Because he was also talking about, you know, when his kids were... In high school, I think it was around the time Ratchet and Clank was out, and their friend, a lot of their friends thought it was really cool that their that you know their dad was voice of Clank, and like that kind of thing got him mad that David K is an adult was is an adult that likes adult things and does adult things like have kids. Like the guy was legitimately mad in the comment section, and it's still there. You guys can look it up. I I think I even responded to him saying David K is an adult. And he is not Megatron. And I don't mean, you know, he's not the person that played Megatron. I'm saying there is a difference between the character and the voice. So people are saying to try to take that from her? Alright. Yeah, I can't. You can't interact with her at all. There's like an invisible wall, see? But you know Beast Wars Megatron would drink good wine? I could picture him sitting with a yeah. good, like, yeah, I yeah. could totally... No. Picture him swirling a brandy glass. Oh, hell yeah. I would love to see a picture of that. He, he does that with uh, Onslaught's spark after he cuts it out of him. Yeah, exactly. That'd be, It would be perfect. See, that, that, what was that thing's name? Was it Onslaught or was it something else? Oh. Uh, the crap. Uh, fuck, I had that thing's toy, I think. Yeah, I think it... Mm, I think it was Onslaught, yeah. I have to check. Hold on now. I'm curious. Right, it was Rampage? Was that really? Was Rampage? Rampage, yes. Yes, that's what it was. It was Rampage. Okay, after a while, they all look alike. Um, yeah, no, it was such a weird comic. Cause it, was a, <coughs> it was about a year or two after the, the last interview we did. And it, I kind of tweeted out, and I kind of made fun of it. And then I David K. liked it, because, you know, we follow each other on Twitter. So we saw it. And I felt bad. I wasn't like I was, I was not going after him. It's one of those I don't like people that do that. Dif you can differentiate. They're two different. Okay, how the fuck you, you, you found the person that is mentally like two. Yeah. That's just what it is. It's best to just leave those people in the void. He was so mad. He's so mad in the comment section. Uh, does anyone know where that is? Because I legitimately cannot find this thing and I've looked everywhere. If you've never seen Beast Wars, the animation is very dated because it was early CGI, oh, yeah. but no, the I've, story is really, really good. I've I've gone back and watched a little bit. Yeah, no, that animation is not aged well. No, it, even back then it was pretty bad, but it was very good. Like the story is what the story writing is really what kept it going. Just don't watch the other one. Don't watch the continuation. Not even the writers wanted to do that. Beast machines. Yeah, no, Scott McNeil told me none of the voice yeah, actors that one, wanted to do it. None I, of the writers wanted to. Yeah, none of that made sense to me. I never even watched it. It's or Hasbro say, I, who couldn't let it go. Yeah, because they wanted to keep the ratings. The designs weren't bad. It was just that it was one of those where nobody on the project believed it should exist. 
if they were going to do something, what they should have done is they should have taken that team and said, hey, we want you to do another Transformers show that's completely unrelated to what you did. I think the team yeah. wanted to, but I'd have to check. Like I said, I know Scott McNeil told me a few things about it. That would have probably been the smarter thing to do, is to go with that. Legit, somebody guide me to where the fuck I'm supposed to go. I'm stupid. Oh, can I get up there? Oh, is there a... No, there's not. How do I get up here? Is there a thing on this side? Nope. So it's low. No. Nope. So that's not where I need to go. They're just gonna keep me languishing till I look it up. You can go crouch under the door. Is it behind the? So what room is this thing in that you have to plug it into? Oh, uh, let me see if I can find it again. Right here. I have to find two of them. Okay. I found one. There's one that came in from the room. Okay, there was one already in here? Yes. You sure the second one isn't in the... Look, I can see green glowing things right in front of me. I swear if you bring up the hand again. Look, you knew you were walking into that. Look on the ground near the bed. In the room with the... In the one you just... In this room. Yeah, no, it's... It's it the, the robot. Son of a bitch. You try to get a friend to watch the live stream? I, I need to do another one where we interview actors again. It's just I haven't been in contact with anybody. Can you get, like, into that room where that thing is at all, or are you blocked off? Uh, where she is? Yeah. No, there's an invis- there's a wall. You can only go up to here. I'm not Keffles, I'm an actual woman. Hmm. Son I don't know bitch. why you think that I'm Keffles, but... Good for you, my bro. I'm glad you understand the difference between a genetic female and Keffels. Will we get chased the moment we acquire the battery? I feel like that's that's coming, yeah. I could try looking under some of the beds, but I would have thought you would have seen the glow. Yeah, it may just be maybe a lighting issue. You didn't miss much. All I'm, all I'm saying is, like, at this point, it has to be hidden under something. Yeah, no, because we've... There was a body under there. There's a body? Was there? There's some, there was something... What is that? Just some clothes. Oh, I thought it was... Uh, the way the pattern was... Like, yeah, was no, I, I had to stop, clothes. too, for a minute. I'm like, did they just actually put a dead kid in here? Let me go check... Uh, oh, what room was it? So I'm going to start from where we started off and see if maybe I missed something in here while you look. What's going on with the... What about, what, what about that tube? Like that... Uh, the washing machine there. I tried messing with it when we... You can't really do anything. Uh, that's a tease. Can't go in there. Son of a bitch. Maybe it's out in this open area? No, because I think it was like the opening area. Yeah. We would have seen it up out here. Because mm. that's where we came. That's where we went down. We went through there. And then we came here and opened the door. Wow, I'm dumb. I can't find this thing. Was it? Was uh, Poppy? Poppy 3? Yeah, Poppy's Playtime, I think it's called. There is a place in the ceiling you can go up. Okay. Is that the place I was looking at? Or like, okay, so there's a... Oh, fuck, why am I trying to jump up there when I can go down? Let's see. Okay, so there is a Break ceiling. Me down. It's not there. Can you, we change the brightness? I tried, they they, they took that out after the, first, after the second one. Let's see if there's anything in here. Oh, you know what would have been a nice touch is have something creepy sitting on this on the uh, chair. 
This door. Oh, you missed your chance at that one. Okay, so I have to look for a place in the ceiling. Here's a spot. Can I get up here, though? Anything on the ground, maybe? No, so I can't use the jump. Okay, so this isn't the spot. Thanks for letting me know to look for that, but... Oh, it's Tenchi. Thank you, Tenchi. Hmm. Oh, there's a thing. We are... F I thought that was, like, a light. No, it is not. Oh, is this how we came... Yeah, this is how we came up. Never mind. I went backwards. Hmm. I need to go this way. Bleh. Blow it to smithereens. All right, so as soon as you get what you get, we're going to nuke the site for morbid. Just one of these horror games, I'd like to see that happen. Nuke it. I never saw the idea of seeing a streamer who you've only seen once. Uh, it's, uh, the whole friend thing, isn't that like a Paris, uh, what is it, Paris social relationship? Where you think you a streamer about? is your friend? Just because you watch I... their streams? Yeah, it's uh... parasocial. There are people who get too attached to streamers, and we've had it happen too, where they think just because they watch our, uh, our streams that we're their bestest of friends. I mean, you're all great people. I'm not saying you're not, but I have my own friends, and there are very few people that watch the stream that I talk to or are willing to talk to off that. That's where we're going. I'm not really a social person either. That's the other thing. I don't really want to talk to a lot of people off stream. I'd rather just be working. Thank you for pointing that out, Tenji. We would have been stuck there for a while. Yeah. I have nothing against, like, I'll talk to everybody on the Discord and stuff like that, but there's a reason I don't add, like, the friend requests and stuff when you when people send them, and a lot of people get mad over that. We've had people drop the Patreon because I refuse to private friend them. And it's like, there's really no need. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm never going to be one of those girls that are like, Oh my god, I'm single. Please give me money and you might have a chance. Come on, let's talk. It'll only be $10. I mean, to be fair, if you did that as a publicity stunt, I feel like that would work rather well for a large amount of income. I'm single, give me money. No, you have to do it in a sexy way. And on top of that, you have to send peak pics. Would high heel pics count? Because I have those. I think that would depend on the person, but I feel like that would be adequate in most cases. Is anyone supposed to come down here? No, I bet you. How many doors was connected to that? They may also ask for a sock. Used. Do I look like Repsion? Look, I'm just seeing how far I, how, how gross I can get this. Don't give them ideas, because we're going to find that one creepy motherfucker because of you. Sorry. You're going to be the one sending the sock, not me. I mean, to be honest, that is just that is punishment for them. There's a, reason, <laughs> there's a reason why I don't, like, I, I buy, like, four packs of socks a year. You're fine, Frosty. Hopefully you enjoy the stream. I mean... I'm not Kevils, trust me. I've been on stream with Medicare and stuff. Kevils ain't ever gonna do that shit. Oh, now we can go this way. Doing the Pokemon game for the Wii, you were... That's the whole thing. I don't mind talking to people, like, in the Discord and being friendly and stuff like that, but I I'm not gonna be one of those streamers that lies and says we're all super good uh, friends forever. 
you guys are awesome people. I do like talking to you. It's just that I am not... I, I'm very much private to myself off stream. Other than talking to a couple of, like, people like Mike and my, my longtime friends, I'm not really insanely social. I know there are streamers who are, I'm just very much to myself. I've always have been. You're only my friend if you let me shit on you. That can be taken two ways. Yeah, no, I am talking about it in the literal sense. <laughs> Just like Vince McMahon. Oh, wait, is that what that whole <laughs> joke has been about? Yeah, you didn't know that. I've been hearing about it, but I didn't know the whole story because I don't go on so, social media as much. Okay, okay, so this is this is the Cliff Notes version. So Vince McMahon and another guy from WWE, apparently this chick is suing them. And she claims that she was basically, like, used as, like, everything in the book from, like, having an affair with him to get a job. And then, like, him sending her out to, like, sleep with random wrestlers. <laughs> and apparently there was a point in time where he was all sharing him with another executive, the other guy who's getting sued. I can't remember his name. Hi there. But I'm that Penny, at one point, Vince McMahon defecated on her for dominance. As you do? No, you t I the fuck, man. Yeah. Also, I no. had to name drop Mike because I'm not allowed to. I don't want to name drop any of my other friends because they're not people on the channel. Other I'm than just, maybe Kim, a lot I'm of my just, private friends aren't people on the channel. I'm just a filthy whore. Roast yeah, you beef. are. Delicious. I want to eat you, pig. Oh, it's my dry voice. I've also been having a sore throat, so. I just feel like I've been insulted now. And I can't say more because I'll just get kicked off of Twitch with what I want to say. <clears throat> but I've been getting over having, uh, my throat is because I've been getting over having um, laryngitis. Uh, fucking it was a laryngitis, not laryngitis, strep throat. And it won't fucking die. <laughs> Tenji. Oh, that means... Wrong one. Yeah. Strep throat. Is it persistent? Yeah, like, fuck. It's not... It, the problem is I also still have my uh, tonsils. So I have to actually, uh, I have to be careful because if it, if they stay inflamed, like infected for too long and it doesn't die out after a while, I may have to get them removed, which is apparently a little bit more dangerous when you're older. It's not, I mean, it dangerous is, is a relative factor. They don't want to put you in surgery if they don't have to for it. They don't want to open up your throat. Yeah, basically. And it takes longer to heal from it. Reminds me, I got to grab some water. Be right back right quick. Second grade. Fuck you. They didn't want to take mine out. Infections. To the point that my uh, left ear is completely scarred on the inside because of it. But I, every time I was sick when I was younger, it was always really bad ear infections. Because genetically, I have shit ears. So, it's now that I'm older, it's always in the throat. Okay, so I've got that. So, I'll let it run out so I can see where I put it. Two inferior infections and one throat infection. Well, it could be worse. Could be the butthole. <laughs> Mike, no. I'm just looking around really quick. Look, we just did that old folks home one shot, and I had to deal with a character who had double irritable bowel syndrome. That shit was horrifying. I feel like he could have made it worse on you. Oh, no, trust me. You weren't there for the first session. He did. <laughs> I, I'm not the joking. When last I, session. I, had, I had to roll. I had to make him roll like seven times during that session, the first session, to see if he crapped himself. He also killed a lot of nurses. Yeah, I remember hearing about that when I was coming in for the last session. Well, he did it in the last one, too. This was Cham, by the way. <laughs> yeah, no one's... Once yeah. you say Cham, everyone's like, got it. 
No, he, he decided to, uh, because his, his whole character idea for the old folks home thing was he was like a, a, like a, a war veteran who like, he, he, he was, but he was like Rambo in a wheelchair. I remember so, that, yeah. I can't wait to see how this is going to end up turning out. Yeah, that's going to be an interesting one. So, so he, at night he was laying booby, he got suspicious of all the nurses. So at night, he started laying booby traps around the hospital, and I had to roll a d20 every night to see how many nurses he either killed or maimed during the course of the night shift. I swear to God, at one point, there is going to be a campaign that Arch is just going to make you... You know what? Arch just needs to do a character to fuck with YouTube where it's just a living censor bar. That he doesn't do actually... anything well, bad. He's just a living well, censor bar. Well, here's the thing. Visually, I'm already going to have to make a character like that, at least for one session. Which session? Or are you finally releasing the uh, restaurant one? No, no, not that. That wouldn't require a human-sized sensor bar, at least not from my memory. Um, no, um, the last session we did of Portals of Pain, Kane was a, a, a giant penis. I have oh, to make right, him a sensor bar. right, You kept giving him penis parts. Well, and, well, no, well, at first... It was, it was supposed to be a joke because he, he was being a jack. I forget exactly at the beginning of it. being annoying. Like. So, yeah, so I made penises grow out of his armpits at first. Then his... Uh, then it was his face? I, want, I can't remember what the second one I was. I know at one point it was hands then and feet. The, the third one was hands. The fourth one was feet. Okay, there's one back there. Can I grab that? No. The fifth one was all of his... Sorry, then the, the fifth one was all of his limbs. And then the sixth one was he just turned into a giant dick with arms and legs. He was cool with it. He's cool with anything we do I as know. long as we give him something fun to do. That's why he's fun to play with. Okay, okay, I see. Right here. In the Spellweaver campaign, I got to punch him in the balls with a ghost. You also turned him into a, uh, he went to the whorehouse as a footrest, remember? Oh, yeah. That was the, he just kept pushing it, too. That's what made it funnier. He was like, fuck it, keep going. Yep. Yep. I, I mean, he is a footman. Let's be honest here. Uh, he's also a boob man. He's an anything guy, but yeah. if he has a choice, he's gonna take. He peace. likes to call me mommy. I let him have his thing. Please, for the love of God, don't start calling me daddy. It's weird. You've challenged them, Mike. I know. I'm just saying it's weird. No, no, you're dungeon daddy. I thank him. Remember to thank Arch for that at some point. <laughs> Somebody should make you a shirt. No, please God, no. I could. I could please put the God. Dungeon Daddy shirt on the shop. I just need don't a design for don't, it. Don't waste your money on frivolous things. <laughs> no, I, I got my thing. I got you to wear a tiny hat. I'm happy. Yes. Right, so the, I think I can good. reach that one. Let me see. I'm glad you're not paying attention to the chat right now, because you might actually leave the call. Why? I wasn't even looking at it. They're trying to see if they can get you to notice them being annoying. Oh, hey, look at that thing. Imagine that thing. That's going to move. Well, okay. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen our D&D &D stuff, um, we I have them up on my second channel, Simply Pure. They're really fun. We do a lot of insane stuff with the D&D. Uh, &D. We try to make it fun for both the viewers and us. That's why the viewers sometimes get to torture Mike by donating him. Did you just move? Yeah, Excuse that was... me? Did you just yeah, move? He's... Yeah, he's turning. Stop that. Stop being a dick. Spank. Spank. Stop it. Apparently everybody likes my bunny girl. Well, I gotta check something. What the hell is that? Who dings me? Oh, that's what's dinging me. Okay, nothing important. Uh, people really like my bunny girl from uh, from The Exorcist. 
There have been people wanting to know if they can do fan art. You can absolutely do fan art of the bunny. Bunny monk, uh, cleric. Oh. Okay, so we can go in there, but I want to look around first. I get to be- f I get to have long streams for the next two weeks. Yay! In between working on videos, obviously. Okay, so there's two ways to- I don't like where this is going. I'm gonna go in this one first. Wait. I should have a door here, too. Uh... When your diarrhea gets really bad? I can make a really, really bad joke, too, about tunnels, but I really shouldn't. That's what we like to call somebody popping a hemorrhoid. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, blood. Yeah, no, there is a lot of it. Oh, so we can open these. All right, that's neat. That one you can't. Shall we go down? We don't have a choice, damn it! Okay, we were stuck for a second. Doors are attached to that thing. Oh, f me. They're so filthy. We have one of these. Here, maybe? No. Okay. I will say I am impressed with how much work, again, was put into this third one. This is the last one, right? They're not doing anymore. I know they have that multiplayer game. We're not playing it. I saw that, Arnarchy. We're not playing it. You got us to play this because you sent it. Now you owe me. Go send me the other bundle I want. I played your game. It's only fair. Play it? No. I don't really- I'm not really big on multiplayer games. I like co-op games. They haven't finished it, but it's all that's out right now. Is there going to be another one? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I would assume since they did three. three it was, were the three chapters of this released separately or was this released as one unit? Uh, separately. You had to buy So, I mean, one. I would assume, I mean, I, I'm assuming they already, they probably already had it, you know, lined up to go the, to go for three, but. <coughs> there I'd is another chapter coming, people are saying. Oh, sweet. Honestly, I, I like this game enough that I would probably play the next one because it's not really that annoying. Like I was expecting like a FNAF type thing. But I it, I do really like trying. the I do like the puzzly mechanics and stuff they use. Yeah, it does feel a bit more unique. So we have that down there. Oh. Hi. I just feel like we overcharged that thing. Okay, so now we can go down. Okay. Hey, I don't like the music sting. What's going on? Run for your life! At least one more chapter. I'm pretty sure there's- Yeah, a lot of people are saying that they're pretty sure there's gonna be another one. Go to the devs. Honestly, they, it seems like they are doing something unique compared to a lot of games like this we've seen. Oh, it's not up here, is it? It was down there, right? Get the hole. Check. Get the hole. Let me double check. You're gonna die. I think we have to go downwards. Nope. Would you fight me, bitch? Fight me! These devs have been getting a lot of flack for the things like the NFTs and whatnot. I mean, a lot of devs tried it. It was stupid, but whatever. When did this I'm not saying, I'm not. Um, when did this one come out? Well, I, I was talking about like when it first came out, because is that like when NFTs were still popular? Gonna, I'm pretty sure that market for those things is pretty much dead and gone now. You want to feel even safer? 
The guy currently running YouTube is the one that I dare of NFTs. Uh, I mean, to be fair, do, they don't hire the people that are competent. It's a brilliant Ponzi scheme. They hit a message in the NFTs. I mean, that's creative. Yeah, I mean, it give, gives people, I guess, a reason to buy them if they want to do. Other than just like, oh, hey, this is cool. Even though this thing can very easily be copied and it has no actual value, but we're putting value. Yeah, I never understood the point of NFTs. I know a lot NFT, of artists who are NFT getting paid to do them. NF, NFTs were a scam from the start. Oh, I know. That's why I was like, this has always seemed stupid. Like, just, just pay an artist okay. to draw something for you. Put a logo okay, on. so so it wasn't it wasn't even the fact that um, like okay yeah artists and draw stuff NFTs went to a lot of other crap. But, I remember. Well, <clears throat> so did you ever hear of this thing called NBA Top Shots? No. So my old roommates actually got into it and they made a good amount of money too. Each one of them made like ten grand off of it. So what happened is, is that there was the uh, the NBA was trying to start an NFT market, and so what they did was, is they opened up this like early access thing to like a bunch of people, and <clears throat> my roommates happened to get in at like the right time when they were still allowing people in before they went public, and then they went public not long after that. Um, and basically, what they did, what it did was, is you got you entered into a lottery to get a card pack. You paid, I forget exactly how much it was they wanted you to pay like per card pack. It was kind of ridiculous. It was like 60 bucks a whack. Oof. But what happened was is that you would uh, you would get the, the NFTs from the card packs and then the NFTs would already be valued on the site based on like, they, they basically had like a metric that would, that would be based off of. So like, okay. And it would be almost like an auction thing. So basically, you would sell them on the site immediately and then pocket the cash into a, an on-site account. Then you can the, cash but, it but, it, but it was real money because both of them cashed out and both of them got 10 grand. There were people on that website that had... Uh, I guess there was like a, a version of LeBron James or a, a, some one of his NFTs that was on there. It was like hundreds of thousands of dollars, and there were people that you had. You know what that reminds me of? Do you remember when Steam first started doing the card thing? Yes, I do remember that. It's like that. That's exactly what that reminded me of. How people were paying stupid amounts of money. Yeah, no, that's the exact same thing that they did, except they created the market, and all the NFTs were just like, oh yeah, this guy did a dunk. Like that that was all that was like ninety nine percent of them was a dude doing a dunk or a dude shooting a three pointer. God, that's what it reminds me of. I mean you can still sell the steam ones at least. Yeah, that's true. Can I get that? Can I use it for the other no I can't, Spike. Oh, it stays charged. That's great. Cool. I mean to anyone that actually I do know, I remember they got caught reselling the ones that were supposed to be one of a kind. I think they got sued over it or something. That oh, so it is right. time. Can I? Yeah, there you go. What? No, it switches every time you. What? Huh? What? There's something so, else. So, can you charge both your hands? No, only the green one. Okay, so yeah, so I need to get in there. For that. Yeah. Yeah, are there any other open doors in that area? I'm never really able to escape the drama of the NFTs. And even to this day, you'll have people shouting, you know they did NFTs, though, why you support them. I mean, I don't care. The devs don't care. I mean, it's the devs' choice. Like, this is how I see it. If the devs aren't, like, if they're not, as long as they're not attacking people and being absolutely horrendous human beings, I don't give a fuck. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Well, a, a lot of the times those things are also like, in, in terms of like being okay. con contractual. Yeah, is this a, does this have a publishing company that isn't the dev team? Because it may have been the publishing company too. You're right. That is, yeah. Uh, the, that that's all up to the advertising hmm. team on how they go through with that. Because normally advertising teams are kind of left uh, not 
I shouldn't say autonomous, but like they are left to themselves to a decent extent to at least develop the ad strategy. And if the executives thought NFTs were a good idea, they would have just let them go through with it. The creative people have almost no control over that. The only thing the creative people have control over usually is uh, the content that is used for the advertising. Um, and even then, it, de it depends on the company, because look what just happened yeah. with... Uh, uh, there's got to be something I'm missing here. Hmm. So you well you need to light up both of them in order to and I can't to switch them, them and I don't think I have enough time to so, go back. So well here's my question. So light one up now and see what happens. Okay. I want to see how long that line stays blue while you have that charge in it. It stays blue for a good amount of time before it finally goes to black. So here's what I would suggest. Go back, uh, grab a charge, light light one of them up, but don't let go. Okay. Oh, we still only have 10 seconds. I know. Oh, it automatically lets go. Yeah. But... I you almost had it. Uh, you can help. Yeah, everyone's absolutely allowed to give some hints. Don't feel like you don't have. You can. You are absolutely allowed to because I am dumb as a box of rocks. Yeah. No. Okay. That didn't matter. So yeah, you're right. You don't have the. You don't have the time to run back and get the charge again. This is a charging port that's closer. That we just didn't see. But either way, I don't think it resets it. I think you still have to be able to do this in time. Well, yeah, because the problem is, is like if you stop there, that's actually taking more time than you did before, and it was already fading. Fuck. Yeah. It's already hey, Shellen. Can you go through? What about these side doors? Do either of these side doors open? No. There, you need. There, you need two charge points. So, do I need two hands? Is that what you're saying? That was my question. Try is going up the stairs again. The wrong button, sorry. I keep wanting to use the up button for that. Alright. We have been going for a little while, so my brain is starting to go shbleh. I know how to aim. I don't know what you're talking about. drop down, I don't think, with the charge. Maybe I do? Fuck you, chat. Am I supposed to be nice to all of you? Yeah, I don't think this will work. I'm gonna test it. Am I supposed to go all the way up the stairs? Is that what I'm supposed to do? That was your second charge point. Huh? Wait. That seems like that's gonna take longer, though. I'll try it, but that seems like that's gonna take a lot longer. see what it is now. Alright, let me reset this. I get what you mean now. Fuck my aim. Fuck my aim. Let's try this again. Yeah, I get it now. Thank you, Jet. Fuck it. Control sign. Let's 
We're gonna have to do something precise. I'm gonna use a controller or a keyboard and mouse. You just have to be really quick, okay. Got it. Thank you, chat. Hi. Oh. Oh, Hello. Okay. Hello, hey, Fluffy. Hey, keeps the monsters away. Two hugs a day is better in every way. Hugging forever. I'm gonna hug you until you pop. No. <laughs> I didn't need my hand anyway. Come back here. Stop telling me to jump on the damn thing. keeps hanging plushies around here. You know what? I actually do that. Never mind. I have a zero plushie that's sitting on my one of my lights that hangs on the uh, thing so I can reach it because I'm short. I'm going to finish this entire chapter tonight. Oh boy, we have to wade through more communism. <laughs> Not the communism. Smells like shattered dreams and vodka. And people swearing that it'll work this time. Shattered dreams. Not communism. It smells like unwashed whales. Oh God! Ew. You could have said it smells like horse fuckers, but only a few people that, are getting that joke. That sounds nasty. Don't you want to hear about how communism is going to help feminism? By making feminism no longer exist. Yep. This is a very big mansion. We didn't do that one, did we? Uh. Yes, Walt Disney hated communists. It was great. That's why people like Walt Disney. That's not the company. Boy, he'd probably hate the company right now. Let's be real. It's kind of yeah. Right no, he probably would. Although that's good about that shakeup's about to get interesting in the next few days. Yeah, the CEO's already talking shit and stuff about how they could open. Like, tons of new parks right now if they really wanted to, and everyone's like, then do it! Do it! Why aren't you doing it? You keep claiming you can do it. Open them parks. I'll have to find that and send that to you, because it's funny. Because everyone's response was literally, then why isn't he doing it? Okay, he's hurt from the power block. So, so they have to be aimed around there. He wasn't. Oh, hold on, guys. Can I not do it over here? Uh, oh, fuck you. You don't want to make it easy on me. Yeah. Let me move here so I have a bit more. That one goes there. Right, what, I'm sorry. What do you do? Oh, OK. 
Okay. That's cool. Go in there. That's neat. I can't really talk about that on stream, but Tenchi is right. Kick his ass. This one's a little higher up. So where are we aiming? Let me go up here so I can see where we're aiming better. Is there another one over here? No. This one, there's two of them in here, so where do they have to hit is the question. Okay, so it hits down on this, or it hits this way. Okay, so it does have to hit there. Door, maybe? You're locked, okay. Juice needed to chew. Hmm, that could, that could work, yeah. So let's. Can I get that from here? I think I can. No, I got the aim right. Okay, so we got that. Hit that. That's going to block that. Hmm. That won't work. Because that just ended that. I think I got this part right. Yeah, I think I got that right. I wonder if I can make it go up just a little. No, because that won't. It won't be able to aim. Is there another one that maybe it needs to aim at? Uh, Walt didn't have any. Uh, with Fantasia, Walt let the artist and the well, the animators basically do what they wanted. It was supposed to let the animators express themselves. Give me a minute, guys. So, what is the trick to this? Is it a timing puzzle? No, I don't think that's it. Yeah, I believe he was a World War One vet. You'd have to look it up. Give me a minute, guys. I'm doing a puzzle. Oh, hold a minute. I see what you do. I see the trick to this. It was simple, too. Come here, you dick. How, how far do I have to bring it? Oh, wait a minute. So you have to hold that with one. Let me just go out here. Damn it. God, you can be finicky sometimes. Boom! Add some Monster Zinc music. I would if it didn't, uh, if it didn't get me in trouble. People will say a lot about anybody. Let's be real. Gossip's always been the thing, even before the internet. Hey, does anyone know how much longer the game is? Good question. Like how much longer this is? I mean, we got to be getting somewhat close to the end. 
I'm hoping I would love to do the rest of this tonight. How how much are you getting tired or are you good? I'm good for a little while longer. You still have two hours to go, maybe. Oh fuck, fuck no. What? You wanna do some midnight sun? Uh I was thinking about maybe crashing. Why don't you go crash? Alright. I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. Alright. Night. Yeah, no, fuck that. Alright. Good night.